Hi, this is Jesse Alexander from the New City Fire Department. Today we're doing a Fire Ops 101. What that is, is we're taking 12 individuals from the community and educating them on what the fire service is all about. These are civic community leaders, and we're trying to break down those barriers. We're showing them the daily life of a firefighter, some of the challenges that we face, and some of the just the training aspects. The intent of this is to educate the community on what we do so that uh, they understand some of these trials and tribulations that we may have, but also as allows us to better work with our community leaders and develop those relationships. So this station is the extrication station and we're working with our citizens to basically fully extricate a patient out of a vehicle. Um, that requires a lot of tools and equipment so we're sharing that, those tools and equipment with them here today. It requires a lot of people so we're, we're showing them what that looks like uh, as we work on the, on the vehicles and um, it's just a great time for us to, to interact with our public in a really intimate way. behind me we just uh, removed the B post very labor intensive a lot of work going on a lot of communication you know we're learning a lot about what the firefighters do on so it's been great what a, what a great opportunity for us to learn more about what's happening in the fire service it's been really uh, um, amazing interacting with uh, you know, the local fire department and personnel and staff and getting to know folks and uh, very much an eye-opening experience. It's nice to uh, get out here and see what the firefighters do and to see um, really kind of the, the day in the life and stuff that they uh, have to encounter. Uh, the guys are nice um, and they're all respectful and uh, I feel very much safer here in uh, the city with these guys here covering our back. I operated a hose spreader so you get it in between the hinges and it pops the hinges off. I got the first hinge off. Then I was able to drive it in and pop the second hinge off. By the way, very heavy machinery and my heart rate was beating pretty quickly. Repel station here today. So we're repelling out of the fourth floor, getting everybody over there fear of heights and showing some of our rope and technical rescue skills. And so we're just here to uh, just kind of share a little bit of that knowledge and show people what we're about. entities that they work with to, to save our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. It's just incredible. Um, giving people the rescue that they need, um, the support that they need. Um, it's just been such so much knowledge that has to go into every day of these firefighters. Um, I give them every kudos that I possibly can because it's just been incredible. An incredible learning experience for me and I cannot say more about what these gentlemen do every day for us. I just scaled out of a what three-story building um, it was pretty intense for me because uh, I have a pretty significant fear of heights but I felt incredibly safe I just uh, I can't believe the work that you guys do and uh, you're putting your lives on the line for all of us and so you know I just want to say thank you for that but this is this is awesome this is awesome
Today we ran our participants through a routine medical scenario. Our intent in doing so was to, to introduce them to our world, what proper staffing on a medical aid looks like, what proper training on a medical aid looks like, and what proper equipment on a medical aid looks like. We also introduced them to the toll that it takes physically as well as mentally on our personnel. They got to see firsthand what it looks like to deal with the patient that we're called to serve as well as their family who are also important customers. We're at, participating in Evolution right now is a, a medical call. They're doing a, a, a mock a CPR on an individual. We got called with uh, chest pain. And so we're at the opportunity to watch and observe our fire department at work. It's also working cooperatively with Bike County Ambulance. And it's clearly and obvious to me that they uh, train so often because they're working so well together. And the foresight and the thinking ahead and how things are going to go or perhaps not go with all the planning that they do, um, the training and the professionalism is very clear. It's really nice and a great opportunity to be a part of this and see it firsthand. So I really appreciate it. separate burns with our uh, Fire Ops 101 students, our VIPs from the community. The live burns in here, we're talking about some fire behavior with the VIPs, but at the same time we're having the evolutions that would normally take place during uh, a structure fire, fire attack, ventilation, search. Um, those evolutions are taking place as well. So after we do the fire behavior portion in here, we fall back to an observation room to watch the fire build and watch the attack team come in, we hear the firefighters on the roof sounding the roof, we're operating the chainsaws. So you have all those outside influences coming in and, and overloading the senses. So I can already feel my adrenaline going and I haven't really done anything yet, um, but I'm super nervous and uh, probably all night last night I was thinking about how intense this is gonna be. Adrenaline's going.
Yeah, yeah, nobody was going to like so be no like, one. I'm not going to be the weakling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we'd all get the call tomorrow like, uh, you backed out. Yeah. I'm stuck with that. <laughs>